Good afternoon, everyone. How are you? It is B, and welcome to Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. We are here today to go over your prophetic astro oracle for the week commencing the 15th through the 21st of November 2021. Let's see what we've got going on here. Okay, so for those of you that wish to um, learn anything about me, uh, my website, my channel, whatever, please just go to the links below. Um, I'm not going to do those intros anymore. I think everybody knows the spiel. Just go to the description box if you want a membership to donate, to get a consultation with me, okay? Anything like that, just go to the link below. Just go to the description box below, okay? Uh, this card fell out, and uh, I think that this is significant. I'm going to leave this to last, actually. Uh, that's what they're telling me. So I'm going to leave that to last. That's going to be one of our overarching clarifiers, and I'm going to pull one more clarifier for the three-card spread, and then I'm going to do elemental, elemental readings. Let's go ahead and pray over the deck, please. the deck. First card, second card, third card. What do we have going on for this upcoming week? What are the general energies? Uh, what's happening here, okay? We got the first card of taken for granted. Uh, someone has taken somebody for granted or someone feels as though they've been taken for granted. You know, this particular energy could come up as maybe the five of cups, Okay, where someone regrets taking a friendship for granted or a relationship for granted. Uh, taken for granted could also be the Two of Swords. Okay, the Two of Swords where someone sits and they're like, I can't make a decision. I don't know what decision to go. I don't know what side of the fence to be on. So I'm just going to stay in the middle and not make a decision. That hurts people. Okay, when someone does not make a decision or someone just plays both sides, it, it really does hurt people. Okay, now you may disagree with that and you are more than welcome to do so, but sometimes people just need to take um, a path, which is important. Someone may feel that someone is being taken for granted. They, um, they are realizing that someone's friendship was taken for granted, okay? Or someone might be complaining that someone took them for granted. Now, it could come in through a complaint as well. Like they, they took me for granted all that I did for them. And I, I, I'm just, I'm just beside myself for it. Remember, you've got to be careful with victimhood. And this may be related to victim mentality because a victim mentality is someone who gets energy off of being the victim. This is how they control people. They control people so that people feel sorry for them. Okay. That's just one way that this could work with some of you out there. I need to make that straighter. There we go. So what do we have going on for the next card? Pluto, absolutely. So this might be blowing up in somebody's face. So when we think of Pluto, we think of uh, changes, destructions, um, the annihilation of something, the change of something, the transformation of something. Remember, Pluto does rule Scorpio. And this is about the underworld. Pluto rules the underworld. Okay, so it might have something to do with a manipulation, a coercion, being part of this. Someone is playing the victim in order to make some sort of change or destroy something or someone. Or perhaps somebody is aware of the fact that they are using the victim mentality for their own selfish means. That is not necessarily on the side of, you know, good, okay? 
that's what that could be. So be prepared for people being a little bit more manipulative. Um, be prepared for people being non-truthful, okay? Um, just be prepared for that, okay? What's the last card? Yes. So basically everything that I've said here, it, this, is, this is what's going on. Someone acknowledges that indeed there is an individual out there in my life who's playing the victim and they do so in order to create chaos in everybody else's life or they do so in order to control others through the destruction of maybe their self-worth. Now, I wouldn't say self-worth, but their, their reputation. They tarnish reputations. They are very, um, they, they bl blaspheme a lot. That's the type of energy that we're getting from here. Okay, so please be aware of this. Let me see if I'm getting anything else here. Pluto is in Capricorn. So this may be related to a Capricorn person, or perhaps this is related to Capricorn characteristics of status, career, loyalties, dedications, fatherhood, the establishment, the patriarchy, banks, hierarchies, governments. Okay? Someone feels as though someone is destroying something, and because that is being destroyed, they're being taken for granted, or... Someone feels as though they can use the victimhood mentality in order to create a change, a transformation, or a destruction. To get to the yes. Sometimes people create chaos in order to get others to acquiesce to their solution. But see, they're the ones that created the chaos. And just miraculously, they also have the solution. Well, the thing is, the solution was always where they wanted to be anyway. They wanted to get to the yes. They wanted the acquiescence. They wanted someone to conform to a rule, a standard, um, a practice, that's what they wanted. They wanted that as the yes. They created the chaos to get to what they wanted. So, so be aware that this is going on right now around people. Okay. What is our overarching energy? What is it that God creator universe wanted us to know like right away? Popped right out. What do we need to be aware of? Baggage. This has something to do with uh, travel. This has something to do with um, a past situation. Someone is not able to release themselves from past baggage. Okay? Past baggage is coming up. So what God Creator Universe is saying here is if you've got baggage regarding victimhood, if you've got baggage regarding someone else who plays the victim around you, know the following. They're using it because they've not dealt with their past issues yet. This is not your rodeo to perform in. They've got to deal with it. People are finding out this week that someone is playing the victim or someone is creating destruction because of baggage from the past. Now, anytime I think of baggage, I also think of the airlines, air travel, uh, uh, cruise line travel, whatever it is, train travel, whatever it is. I would definitely watch out for that. There does appear to be a big transformation, um, a big destruction, or a big, you know, um, annihilation of something. Okay, so 
So be prepared for that as well. That is coming up this week. Now, I think what we need to do is find out, because the yes is already here. This is not This is the part of my deck that is the oracle, okay? The yes, the no. Okay, so it is a yes. So this is what ha is happening. Let's find out what the taken for granted is all about. A Taurus. So a Taurus person took somebody for granted or somebody took a Taurus for granted. This may have something to do with someone's self-value, the money they make from the company they work for, the money they make from the business they own, the body politic, the creature comforts. Okay, is somebody taking you for granted in this area? Were you making sure that someone was taken care of? Were you making sure that someone always had what they needed? Whether that be a car ride, whether that be um, food on the table, uh, bringing cookies over, like being really generous with somebody, but they took it for granted. You saw that this person who was receiving all this love and all of this energy from you or from someone you know was slowly becoming a control freak telling this person they weren't good enough, telling this person that, you know, um, your those cookies that you brought me, they were great, but they were burnt. Like, you know, stuff like that. This is like a narcissistic type of energy here. Especially if you've got baggage, Pluto, and taken for granted. Some of you might be dealing with a narcissistic energy. Some of you might be realizing this week that you are dealing with a narcissist. A psychopath. A sociopath. They're playing the victim. Sociopaths, psychopaths, and narcissists, to a degree with each one of them, love to play the victim. That's how they, that's how they bring people in. Okay, that's what we've got going on here. So let's see what we've got going on for the individual elements. Starting off with Earth. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Please pray over the deck. Fear. Fear. So Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, you might be afraid of some sort of past baggage. Or there might be fear of some sort of past baggage blowing up in your face. Or there might be a fear of someone discovering who you really are. Or you may have put the fear in them that others may discover who they really are. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, someone is going to be revealed. So don't dwell in fear, earth signs. Don't think about the fear. Feel the fear, do it anyway. Because there's something from your past or some sort of transformation or change you went through that either you're putting fear in people or other people are putting fear in you. Because maybe you took them for granted. You know, maybe there's something in your past that was destroyed. Fear. All right. 
Air signs, what do we got going on with you? Air signs, what do we got going on with you? Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Clear the deck. Libra. This could be about fairness and justice. When we go out of our way to destroy maybe something from our past through revenge or jealousy or just being mean, control freaks. When we go through that from our past, sometimes we do it because we feel that justice must be served. There should be righteous indignation. There should be justice that is served. But know that every single time you put out the manifestation of justice or the manifestation of uh, balancing the scales, so to speak, you are also subject to that energy. You know, sometimes some things happen in our lives, air sign, where sometimes it's bad things that happen to us. Maybe somebody hurts us. Somebody takes us for granted. Somebody doesn't drop past baggage. Someone affects us in such a way that our self-value is affected. Or the money we make from the company we work for or own. Getting revenge is just going to bring more of that energy towards you, where other people get revenge with you. But when you give it to the universe, give it to God, creator, let them transmute it into whatever is fit for the situation, and you simply move on and become successful. So if we're talking about sociopaths, psychopaths, and narcissists, that's what they hate. They hate it when you're successful and they're not because they're still living in past baggage that blew up in their face. This could also be a Libra person, sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Jupiter. Maybe you're talking to them about this. That could be. Or maybe Libra, you as the air sign, are realizing, could be any sign that's realizing this, but Libras are really sticking out. Libras, you could realize that someone around you is playing the victim and they're not letting go of their past. And you're realizing more and more they are sociopathic, psychopathic, narcissistic. Okay? Water signs. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Water signs. Wow, water signs. Fear. Fear. So water signs and earth signs have the same energies right now. There's fear regarding a situation. Someone, okay, this is going to sound strange. Water signs, you'll understand this. So water signs, first of all, what are you getting? Are you picking up on something? Do you smell the fear with people or do they smell the fear with you? If you have fear within you, please cast that fear away. Cast that fear out. But this could also be that you smell the fear within others. What do they say um, when you've got all these, you know, uh, slings and arrows and bullets coming your way? You're over the target. 
So are you over the target water sign? There's some sort of fear coming up here. Perhaps water sign, somebody is afraid that you are going to reveal how you were taken for granted. How someone constantly dumped their baggage on you, which has affected your self-value and you decided to destroy the relationship. You decided to transform it. You decided to jettison it. Because it did not serve you. Or vice versa, water sign. Maybe they left you. But fear had a lot to do with that. And it has a lot to do with it now. So water sign, you might be working with an earth sign right now regarding fear. Fire signs, what have we got for you? Aries, Leo, and Sag, what have we got for you? Cycles. Cycles. So fire signs, Aries, Leos, and Sages, you are definitely going through the cycles right now. You have a revisit of someone from your past, or perhaps a good friend, a family member has a revisit from someone from their past. They could be a Taurus. They could be potentially a Scorpio. And they're bringing a lot of baggage with them regarding being taken for granted. This is something that you are supposed to observe. Now, you may be going through it and you're part of it, okay? But I really feel like for a lot of you, this is something that is reappearing in your life right now in order for you to address this once and for all, whatever this may be. All right, fire sign. And whatever you do, fire sign, do not take somebody for granted. Because it looks like if someone is taken for granted, it's going to affect somebody else in their self-value, money they make from the company they work for, they own the body politic house. Fire sign, there could be some energy also going on around a big transformation that you are affecting through carrying a burden for someone else or helping someone carry a burden. Did you help somebody carry a burden in the past and now you feel taken for granted? Or did someone else carry your burden in the past and now they feel taken for granted? There's a cycle of energy here. I think there's going to be a discussion about someone saying, I feel like I'm being taken for granted. I feel like I'm not being appreciated. I feel like I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just a number. I don't feel as though I'm really impacting any change here. I feel like I'm always shoved to the side. I feel like I, my voice is never heard. That could be what's going around for some of the fire signs out there. Okay. All right, guys. I wish you the best. Much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.